Hello and welcome to TDS. My name is Mr. Wright and I'll be your instructor for this project. In this project, we will be extracting livestock market data from Yahoo Finance. We will find similarities among various companies using their stock market prices and then cluster them into different clusters using the K-means algorithm. Since this is an unsupervised machine learning problem, we will be using an unsupervised machine learning technique with the help of the K-means algorithm. We will be using the Pandas data reader to extract live data from the Yahoo Finance site. At the end of the project, you will see something like this. We will start by loading the various libraries necessary for this project. Then we will create a dictionary which contains the various companies that we are going to extract data for. We will be extracting data all the way from April 2015 to April 2020. We will be using the data reader to read this data from the Yahoo site. Then we will convert this data into a data frame and then visualize it. We also do some data pre-processing to get our data ready for further analysis. As you can see over here, we also plot the trend which is existing among Amazon and then Apple and then compare it with the real-time data that is existing on the Yahoo site. So if you can see over here, this is the real-time data that is happening on the Yahoo site. This is a real trend that is happening over here and if you compare it with what we have been able to extract over here, it's inconsistent with what is over here. Moving on, we also plot the trend that is existing among the various opening and the closing price in the various years. We also normalize our data since the stock prices of Amazon and Apple are have different skills. We will visualize it first to see the inconsistencies that are existing among the various stock prices of Amazon and Apple, then normalize it and visualize it again. We also see the various clusters that we've been able to cluster using the what is called the make pipeline which combines the k-means algorithm and then the normalizer. After that, we also reduce the dimension from 1260 all the way to two dimensional spaces that we'll be able to visualize. Then we also use the decision boundary to visualize these various clusters. So as you can see, this is a very wonderful project and I'll be glad to take you through. So let's get started.